All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is the how-to video for your grayscale project. The first step is you folks are going to go to Sketch.io, so S-K-E-T-C-H dot I-O. It should be on this page looking like this. Then you folks are going to go ahead and click on this green button where it says try out Sketchpad. Go ahead and click that, folks. It will load to a whole new page. Click on the canvas right here. No need for that. This section right here is your full canvas, all right? This is where you're gonna be creating your projects as well as other illustrations in the future. So the first step is you folks are gonna go to your selection tool, okay? And this is where you're gonna be selecting. This is where you crop, crop and resize. This is your pencil tool. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and click on the star, okay? Now you're gonna go ahead to the star arrow right here to choose a shape. You're gonna go ahead and pick square, drag your square here on the canvas. You're gonna hold down the shift key while you're dragging it, okay, to make a perfect square. So about this size should be good. And you folks are gonna hit Control C on your keypad. Okay, then you folks are gonna go ahead and hit Command V to paste. And you folks are gonna paste it eight more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, you folks have already have nine squares. All right, that being said, I want you folks to go ahead and drag and move them. All right, so we're gonna align all of them together as best you can. And go ahead and double check how many squares you have, folks, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right? Now what you folks are gonna do is you're gonna highlight all the squares, just like this with the green, with your keypad, just roll right over it. Go ahead and you're gonna go to alignment on top. Then you folks are gonna go to distribute and horizontal. Now when you are finished, everything should be aligned perfectly and aligned to the top. The next step is, this is your fill section right here, the fill. So your next step, you will be going to the fill button and go ahead and click on this, all right? You are going to see all these color palettes right here, all right? I'm gonna go to my first one, make sure I'm clicking on the first one, and I want to go ahead and I'm going to fill in the button right here. You're going to go ahead and pick color, and I'm going to use black, all right? Now what I'm going to do is go to the next one, and go ahead to repeat the process. Color again. And I'm going to choose the next one. Okay. And etc. You're going to go ahead and fill out every single one. Right. After you have done that, you folks should have nine different colors, um, white all the way to the black, and then you folks are done, okay? Then I want you folks to try again with a different shape, okay? You're gonna go ahead and repeat the process. Once you folks are done, you folks are going to go ahead and export. So you come down here where it says export. You're gonna go ahead and say download as JPEG. All right, then it will save to your computer and you folks are done. Then you're gonna go back to Google Classroom, hit attachment, your JPEG, and hit the turn in. All right, let's go, see you riders.